Hey everyone, so today I want to uh, relay some information that I use, or maybe even a methodology, if you will, uh, that I use when I look into researching a new cryptocurrency or look to invest in a new cryptocurrency. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of information out there, a lot of different ways to check on the validity of a coin, uh, the project itself, who's working on it, so on and so forth. So uh, again, just wanna go through a couple of the ways that I do things. Uh, as always, this isn't financial advice, and uh, all of this information or some of this information uh, will be here in the uh, description below for you to check out. So, so the first thing I'd like to start with is really just, you know, it, what, what is the conceptual, you know, or, or maybe take the more conceptual approach to uh, a cryptocurrency and, and that being, you know, what, what is its use case? Uh, what is it for or what is its main purpose? Uh, you know, does it have an active product or platform. Uh, and that's really where I start first and foremost, really before even diving too far in because, um, you know, just kind of here looking at coin market cap with Bitcoins and starting with Bitcoin being that it's the oldest and uh, number one cryptocurrency, uh, you know, that is obviously it's a form of payment. It's a it's a store of value and it also is, is made for payments. And uh, many, 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 many other cryptocurrencies that are hitting the scene now are built and designed around the same thing, which is just a payment source. So, when looking at a lot of those new coins that are coming in or even you know some of the older ones that have been around for a while like litecoin which also is is designed to be uh, similar to bitcoin and have similar use cases um you know you want to kind of think about okay well what does this solve what is it meant to solve and does it do it better than what already exists so so that's a good way to think or, or maybe to even get started with now i'm not saying that's a that should be a deterrent but it is something to keep in mind when you want to go and look at a new cryptocurrency because if it does if it already does the same thing that exists on the market uh well then what does it do better or what do you feel like it can do better in the future as it continues to develop and grow uh, amongst the community so on and so forth so so again, Bitcoin, uh, it, again, is, is designed around payment, store of value. Uh, Stratus is a uh, blockchain similar to how Ethereum will operate, um, but is built in C-sharp, which is great for enterprise applications, which are built in C-sharp uh, rather than open source code, uh, like, you know, the JavaScripts and, and web programming and, and things like that out there. Uh, Steemit, uh, obviously a, a, a platform or a block explorer for Steam, uh, so it has its use case right there. It's similar to Tumblr and Reddit and, and all of those, uh, so it can easily, you know, identify the use cases there. Uh, and also is is an active and ready to go platform that can be used right away. Uh, Nem, uh, of course, is the smart asset blockchain uh, based out of uh, the East in uh, Japan, and uh, and it is very popular amongst the Japanese and uh, and other Asian markets, and is is currently growing. Uh, again, similar to uh, Ethereum, but not as much. It's not as complicated. It doesn't have any smart contract type of um, of capabilities, but again, built around smart assets. So it's simpler to use and, and is really going to be designed for uh, a number of different industries like energy and finance and business and things like that. Uh, Monero, um, similar to, to Bitcoin, but uh, anonymous and really designed around being anonymous solely and is the most popular anonymous cryptocurrency. There are a number of other ones that are uh, further down the list on coin market cap. But uh, but again, you know, that's that's where it uh, differentiates itself from what already exists. Uh, Augur is a predictive analytics or a predictive platform kind of built around the gambling and uh, and different things like that. Basic Attention Token is uh, going to be a new platform. It's uh, got the Brave website, or excuse me, the Brave browser, uh, which is going to help facilitate an Atlas internet where you can use Basic Attention Token to then uh, pay uh, any type of publisher or content that you're viewing. And so it has a use case there. Uh, Sciacoin is, is another great one. It's a cloud-based storage. is uh, is meant to have the currency, which uh, you as a... Um, as someone who can give up your storage on your computer, uh, can then be paid in Sciacoin and uh, also help keep that network and that uh, blockchain stable uh, and keep people files secure by being uh, a part of that network. And its uh, its end goal is to you know ultimately be cheaper than you know your Amazon Web Services and uh, and and other you know Dropbox and other type of cloud storage services. So. So those are just a few examples, obviously many more that I missed and, and didn't cover, but again, just want to give you some ideas and some things to think about from a conceptual standpoint of what are these cryptocurrencies 
trying to solve and why do I have an interest in uh, wanting to invest in these cryptocurrencies. Uh, and then from there, what I like to do is go and hit the GitHub. Now, not every single project is going to have a GitHub, so that sometimes you have to have maybe a little bit more faith in the system or in uh, the project or, or go find maybe some other news and resources and uh, maybe writings or, or, or material from the uh, from from the creators and, and the team. But uh, but GitHub is really a great way to go and just investigate uh, what kinds of uh, developments are being made on the cryptocurrency or the platform or project that you're looking to invest in. And now you don't need to be uh, a, a programmer to get into GitHub and take a look at it. Really what you're looking for is just activity. You know, is the project being updated? Is it being worked on on a regular basis? Are, P are programmers coming in and forking off of it, working on their parts, and then uh, re-uploading re the, uh, their, their work onto the uh, end of the project and you can see it almost just immediately when you can see the activity levels here uh, off next to the various packages and projects within the total project or the project as a whole you know see here like the nano wallet obviously a lot of development there the core uh, software application here for nem and so these are you know and that's for nem and this is for so nebulous is the uh the company that is developing Sciacoin. So you can see what kind of work is being done on Sciacoin and the their UI, um, their backend tech and all that stuff. And if you're a programmer or you're more technical and you want to dive in and look at the, the code, obviously you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, but for the non-technical folks, really, again, what you want to do is come in and see you know, just what kind of activity is taking place. Because if you come in here and you see a lot of flat lines like this here, and it's all flat lines or, or maybe, you know, all of the work was done, uh, you know, months and months ago or, or, you know, even, you know, just weeks ago, you know, might be a red flag for you. But but again, you know, this isn't necessarily a, a stopping point if you see uh, a lack of development in the cryptocurrency that you're interested in. Uh, but just something, again, to uh, kind of uh, it's just another piece to the puzzle, another uh, puzzle piece to the puzzle. Um, so, yeah. Just again, you know, don't necessarily have to be worried uh, about visiting GitHub uh, if you're not a programmer. I, I highly suggest it. I'm not a programmer. I do know a bit of code, but nothing to, to scoff at. So I don't even come in here and look at uh, actual code or anything. I'm simply coming in here and looking at activity levels. So don't shy away from it. Absolutely should be one part, one part of your process uh, when you're coming in and doing research on any types of cryptocurrencies. So... Now, from here, what you what we may want to look at is informational resources, um, and and this is of course going to make up uh, the majority of your time listening to either YouTubers or uh, reading articles, visiting communities or social media sites, uh, and so we'll kind of walk through a couple of those, and you can see what uh, I subscribe to or what I, you know, frequent when I'm looking to find information on the cryptocurrency that I that I want to invest in. So first and foremost is uh, YouTube. It's by, more, by far my favorite. You know, pop on a podcast, pop on uh, a, a video and just listen in the background while you do your thing, do work or uh, hit the gym, you know, whatever you got to do. Uh, but it's an easy way to uh, easily go in and get the information you're looking for uh, while maybe even doing some other activities as well. So um, a couple of my favorite guys, uh, Andre Andreas Antonopoulos, Chris Dunn, um, you know, crypto obviously is a, is a great guy to be following, uh, you know, Lewis Thomas, Nem with Tony, shout out to him. Uh, so, you know, a couple of those to be uh, young and investing for sure, Trevon, da Trevon James. Uh, yeah, these are all guys you definitely want to be looking into. And, uh, and, and there are plenty more. Once you start subscribing, you'll start seeing more and more. Hopefully you subscribe to this channel shameless plug and uh and uh, and and again is is just a really easy way uh and, and a great community a lot of these guys are really active in uh discussions with you guys uh including myself or as much as i try to be um so uh so yeah just uh, always a good first place to go it's one of my favorite one of my my primary resources to get information uh of course 
you know, coinmarketcap.com is is by far the the easiest way to get a look at the numbers and uh and, and see things like volume circulating supply price market cap etc uh you can also see they have some tools built in where you can see you know obviously his, historical uh types of information you can see trending such as uh, gainers and losers so maybe if you're looking for the next uh coin to come in and you know see which one you want to invest in or, or who's gaining and who's losing you know, you could come in and uh, and take a look at that, and and maybe that will 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 steer you away, especially if you're seeing a lot of big losses uh, on coins. Uh, but perhaps that's a good opportunity to invest in. So you have to think about those things too. You know, if a coin has a, is, has been going through, uh, say, a week long uh, period of, of loss at you know, say, ten percent or or twenty uh, percent, that's not necessarily a red flag. It could be a good buying opportunity. So again, just things to keep in mind uh, as you go through and uh, you're looking at the information uh, surrounding the coin or cryptocurrency or block that you're a uh, blockchain that you're looking to uh, toss some shekels into uh, another great one coin gecko uh, now this is a little different they are more of an aggregator of of uh, you know, not just the financials or the hard data, but also, um, you know, other information like the development community, uh, the social community, and um, in, in various ways like that. So if you come into their methodology, you can see, you know, they look at the activity on GitHub, um, again, look at social activity. Uh, and then, of course, you know, they'll look at uh, even uh uh, search history uh, on Bing and Google. Uh, they'll look for how often uh, certain coins are being researched, uh, and so this is a little different of a uh, of a resource to go and look at. Uh, I, I frequent it on occasion. It's not my go-to uh, because you know it, it just doesn't. Uh, it not always is going to have all of the information I want uh, because while they may be able to aggregate a lot of this data and try to put a number, say on uh, community. A lot of that stuff you still have to go and read yourself and, and see what the deal is uh, with those. So, and so speaking of community, um, Reddit is is a great place to go, uh, bar none. It, it has uh, it, it's easily one of the more active cryptocurrency communities out there. Uh, most cryptocurrencies have a dedicated. Um, uh, subreddit for themselves so uh, just something always to keep in mind if you go to the cryptocurrency sub um, you can come down here and see they have a number of different cryptocurrency subs here or these are the individual ones uh, and you know all sorts of other good informational resources so uh, definitely want to check into reddit uh, if you're not familiar with it at this point and and you're into crypto uh, you absolutely should get on it right away I'm, I'm also pretty active in it as well uh, you can you know usually find me commenting various in various ways around uh, all sorts of different communities uh, and subreddits uh, within Reddit itself. So uh, another good forum, uh, BitcoinTalk.org uh, is one, sort of one of the staples that's been around a long, 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 long time as well. And uh, you'll get all sorts of information here when it comes to uh, general discussions, mining information, uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of good technical talk is going to be done here. And uh, is certainly a good place to go and check out uh, as well. If you have any questions or, or you want to post a question, uh, I, I highly recommend it. While, while the, the interface might not be the most um, maybe user friendly or the easiest on the eyes, uh, the information is what's key. So definitely be checking them out if you're going to be going and doing any type of heavy research on a new cryptocurrency that you think uh, is worth your time and money. And then lastly, what we'll do is, uh, or what I'll do is go hit just the, the general news sites, um, you know, co the coin telegraphs, the coin desks, uh, Crypto coins news. These are, you know, kind of my top three that I that I check out. Um, News.bitcoin.com is also a great one. Um, lots of good, high activity on these websites that are going to be, you know, churning out articles on the regular, not just kind of, you know, kicking out one and then waiting a couple of days kicking out another. Um, that might be the sign of a not not to say that that's a bad thing, but um, you know, if you're looking for a lot of information and and a lot more frequently, these types of uh, th these are three great ones as well as, again, news.bitcoin.com. They're probably the more active news sites uh, for you to go and get all sorts of information and uh, and good stuff like that. So so that's pretty much it. you know. And, and after all of that, I'll kind of 
you know, make the final decision on if I want to uh, make the investment. I'll head over to an exchange, uh, pick up my coins that I want, download the wallet, and, and go through the process accordingly there. So uh, so this is how I do it, and this is how probably a few of you out there do it. Uh, but let me know if I missed anything. Uh, if, if you think that uh, there's some other resources or uh, some other information that I should have included, let me know. I'll update the description to include those. Uh, maybe even pin a couple of con uh, comments or uh, include your comment uh, up near the top where mine is here. So. Uh, just want to have some information or have maybe uh, a step-by-step -step process for you guys to consider going through when you're looking out to go out there and, and invest in a new cryptocurrency because uh, it's an exciting time. There's a lot of information flying around. Uh, us, us YouTubers can only get you so far and get you so much at a time. Uh, so at the end of the day, a lot of it goes on you and and plus we're not your financial advisor. So uh, at the end of the day, it's always going to be on you because uh, that, that's the beauty of this industry. The research is on you and the risk and the responsibility is on you. But at the end of the day, a lot of great rewards or an opportunity to be found uh, if you make the right choices. So, so that's it for me. If you thought this information was great, like it. Uh, if you uh, want to see more like this in the future, be sure to subscribe uh, and, and follow me on Twitter. Hit me on Steemit, upvote it on Steemit. And, uh, and yeah, at the end of the day, what we, what we always say on this channel is we disregard fiat and we, require, we acquire Bitcoin. See you guys.